one. Hey guys, this is uh, Greg Barrett, uh, pastor here at Life Change Church. I'm here with Marisa. And uh, we had a service, uh, I think it was about a week or two ago, where uh, I, I ministered on the cure for anxiety. We've had several testimonies come in of people that, that were delivered from anxiety. And, and deliverance is a, it's a process of healing. So some people don't always get it the first time. And what I encourage people to do is when they're going through a deliverance process, continue to come back for prayer and it's eventually going to break. So we kind of peeled the layers back from the onion. But, you know, Marisa called me after the service and said, hey, you know, you prayed and obviously there was some power. Yeah. And, and there was an experience for you. But, yes. but you obviously have a testimony as far as what happened. Yes. Yeah. Well, I've, um, I've been depressed since my father died when I was 15 years old. So for 35 years, it's just been a constant, um, just a constant thing in my life. And it also kind of, it kind of was grouped in with alcoholism too during, during 23 years of that. But the last 14 years I've been sober, but I've still had depression and at times just absolutely debilitating depression, mm -hmm. debilitating depression. Couldn't get out of bed, sure. you know, barely function, you know, sometimes not shower, you know, just really like. Shower today, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just for you, Greg. Yeah, <laughs> and mostly for Kristen because yeah. it's her birthday. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just, it's been, it's been absolutely terrible. It's affected everything. It's affected my career. It's affected, you know, how the energy I've had to, to per, you know, take care of my kids, sure. you know, um, it, and, you know, it's just been like this swirl of things, mm -hmm. you know, and it's been like, you know, not getting to where I want to be in life because I just, I can't trust myself to know if I'm going to be depressed or not. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you this. Was yeah. it, was it, and, and I think a lot of people in society, they are the program that yeah. you take a magic pill and yes. uh, problems go away. Yes. And so, you know, for you, you've been pressing in. So it wasn't kind of an overnight thing. Um, how do you mean that? Meaning, oh. meaning you've been, you've been kind of pressing in the word. You've been here at Oh, yes. And, yes. Yeah. You know, I kind of have a re, I've had a re, you know, kind of surgence of, commitment to being in church and mm -hmm. being in you know with other people and sure. reading the bible and being around yeah so you came up to the altar for prayer yes and, and obviously you know mm -hmm. we prayed for you and, yes and, and the power of god was pretty strong yes and i always ask people well what happened in that experience that yes you know that that uh, you felt liberated from, yes from that well i was um i was slain in the spirit which means that God kind of just took over and God was talking to me and just talking about um, things that he has had planned for me, but I haven't been able to do because of this depression. Yeah. And I mean, this has happened a couple of times in the last like 10, 14 years, right mm -hmm. around there. And, um, and then um, I think her name was Jennifer. She yeah. and I just sat there and talked and she said, you know, when, when did this start? And I said, started talking about my father dying and it's really interesting because the last couple months I've really been like thinking about my dad a lot sure. and I mean he's been dead a long time but we were really close but the last couple months it's just like he's really been there in my mind a lot yeah and so it's just interesting that I felt like I was kind of released from that mm -hmm. not just the depression but just released from like that tie to him in a way, but in a healthy way. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, no, you were you were you were released. It was yeah, it, and and for me that's that's um you know, it's disconnecting you from your past. Yeah. And uh, and it's releasing you from it. So, yes. Um and, and there's emotions, you know, obviously yeah. that, that are tying you to that. Yes. But it's it's interesting how in one instance you know, you're at the altar yes. and, and God intervenes. And a lot of times, a lot of the agreements and the emotions that we feel are not grounded in God. You know, yes. especially when it takes yeah. away your peace. Yes. A lot of times it's it's demonic. And it's a lot of times in traumatic situations, we make agreements that, that are negative. And because we have dominion and authority over all things, Psalms 1, uh, 15 and 16, that those voices or that enemy is allowed to come in through our agreements and it opens the door 
to where now we're subject to torment. Yes. And, and so, and what deliverance does yes. is it breaks that demonic interference. It breaks that tie. It closes the door yes. and it creates a disconnect. And that's what happened. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it sets you free. Yes. So, yeah. Pretty cool. And, you know, honestly, I never thought to pray for deliverance from it. It, it never even occurred to me until, I, you know, I've been reading some of the posts that you posted on mm -hmm. our church page about just certain topics. Mm -hmm. And that was one, I think that was one of them. But I mean, um, I just, I never, it never occurred to me to pray about it. And well, that's the thing I should have done first. Well, mental illness has, has attacked people close to me. And I identify it for what it is. It's not of God. And, and I believe my call is to cut the head off the dang thing and, and to get people set free from it. And, and you know, what I express to most people, it's a process. And I know sometimes when you go up for prayer and you may not get it, mm -hmm. you know, 100%, yeah. a lot of times they, they feel, well, they feel condemned because they feel like, well, I just don't have enough faith. Yes. No, it's not that you don't have faith. Sometimes you can't handle all the freedom at once. Mm -hmm. And if God gives you all that freedom at mm -hmm. once, you go back to that old tendency. And so a lot of times it's that process that God will take you through to start breaking things off your life. Yes. So we have to continue to have an attitude of, you know, I'm going to press in. I'm going to fight this thing. This yes. isn't the will of God for my life. Yes. Yes. And I need people that are stronger than me in faith where I can partner with them mm -hmm. in their faith where they can step in. And that's all that happened. My faith, mm -hmm. you know, and, and my authority in that realm just came mm -hmm. in and partnered with you. Yes. And broke it off of yes. you so you can be free from it. Yes. So anyways, so... It's awesome. It you know, is. The, the, the freedom that you experience. I mean, you got something else? Oh, no. I just was going to say, like, I've noticed it, like, kind of trying to sneak in. And what I've done is I just start reading the Bible on my phone. Mm -hmm. And I just, my mood changes. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm not willing to let that ruin my life for so long mm -hmm. that, that, there's no way I'm willing to let that come back. Well, the good thing is about reading the Word of God, not just knowing Scripture, but mm -hmm. understanding the reason it was written. It was a last will and testament written to the children of God. And it's literally a mirror that tells you who you are in Christ. Mm. And when you start reading those words of who you are and what your identity is, yes. you know who you're not and what you're not. Yes. And so it allows you to actually challenge the voices that tell you this is who you're not, what you're not, what you're not going to do, what you're what you're not going to become, and allows you to actually dream again. And and that's where when you have a dream, every decision binds you to that dream. It says where there is no revelation, people cast off restraint. So a dream in life um, actually restricts you in your decisions from doing stupid stuff in life because you know where you're going. And Pastor uh, said this weekend that if you're not dreaming, you're dying. Mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, so that obviously gave you a, um, you know, a, a renewal, mm -hmm. you know, when you came to the altar. So that's, yes. that's awesome. So yes. anyways, guys, if you're dealing with, with anxiety, you're dealing with depression, you have suicidal tendencies, come visit, at, visit us at Life Change Church and we'll work with you. We'll break that thing off your life. And remember, faith doesn't deny that a problem exists. It just denies it a place of influence in your life. God bless you. We'll see you soon.